All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at enumerated data types, or enums for short. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and create a new program or project, and we'll call this the enums demo. So make sure that this is being saved in Java projects. Our enums demo.java. Go ahead and create our class header and our body. And then our main method, so our public static void main. Our string array of arguments. And then right here, uh, just outside of the main method, but still within the body of the class, this is where I'm going to set up the declaration for my enum. So to give you a general idea about precisely what an enum is, uh, you can essentially think of it as a collection or a list of named constants that we can then make use out of in our program later on. So to do that, we first give the keyword enum, and then we specify a name that we wanna to give to this enum. And the name that we give to this enum is how we will associate uh, any variables that we use uh, with one of these constants. So in this particular case, what I wanna create is an enum whose constants are the different days of the week. So the name that I wanna to give to the enum itself is going to be day. We then have a pair of curly braces to start the body of our enum. And inside of this pair of curly braces, this is where we're gonna put in each one of those name constants. Okay, so remember the standard convention for constants is to give the names in all caps. So we'll do our Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, okay? So at this point now, if we want to make variables, we're gonna use the word day, and whenever we want to assign something to those variables, we're gonna be using these constants. So if we wanna go ahead and just make a simple variable that can take one of these, we'll give it that data type of day, we'll then give it a name of some kind, so again, just any name that you want, I'm just gonna call this day of week, and this is gonna be equal to and to specify one of these constants, we need to make sure that we're specifying it within the scope of our day enum. So we're gonna actually say day dot, and then something like say Tuesday, for example. Okay, so day dot Tuesday is gonna be specifying this constant right here. And we're also using the day name right here to match up with our enums name to indicate the type for our variable. And then next what we can go ahead and do just to make sure that we're getting something useful out of this. I'll go ahead and create just a simple print statement right here. And inside of this print statement, we'll put in our day of week variable. Okay, we'll go ahead and save that. And then come over here and we'll compile our enums demo. And then we'll go ahead and run it. And we can see now that we get the name Tuesday. Okay. So now that we've seen just a very simple implementation of an enum, doing you know just a quick assignment to a variable and then printing out that variable's contents, uh, I'm gonna take a moment now to explain conceptually the relationship between each one of these different things that we're doing. So the day itself, the enum that we created, uh, this is actually a specialized type of class. So whenever we use day like this, say right here, what we've actually done is created a class type for this variable day of week, okay? In addition, the different constants that we have right here, the Sunday through Saturday for the different days of the week, uh, these are actually going to be objects of this class. So whenever we use day.tuesday like this right here, we're just assigning an object to this variable day of week. So essentially day is our class type, day of week is effectively a reference variable, and day.tuesday is going to be a uh, way to assign the Tuesday object so the day of week can now reference it. Okay. And then finally, right here when we tell it to print out day of week, since we're telling it to effectively print out an object, that means that somewhere we have to be calling the toString method. So typically, as we saw before, the default behavior of the toString method was to print out the name of the class. So in this case, it probably would have been day. Uh, we then had that at symbol and then some kind of hashed uh, code or hashtag for it. Uh, but in the case of an enum, they actually have their own custom implementation for the toString method to just print out the name of the constant that's associated with 
that variable. So any constant that we assign to this variable, that name that we gave it, that's what's going to get printed out whenever we use it in a print statement like this. Okay. Okay. So in addition to this, I also want to take a look at two other features or characteristics of enums. In order to take a look at these, I'm going to go ahead and create um, a scanner. So we're going to do an import for the scanner, and we're going to request some user input. So we'll do an import to java.util.scanner. We'll then come over here, make an object of that scanner class. We're going to call it keyboard. This is going to be equal to a new scanner that we use to read from our standard input stream. So system.in. And then right here, initially, we'll just go ahead and make this null now. So instead, we're going to ask the user to provide some kind of input. And with that input, we'll go ahead and assign a value to our day of week variable. So the next thing we can go ahead and do, we'll actually just go ahead and use this print statement here to print out the phrase, please enter a day of the week. And then underneath this, what we can go ahead and do is take our day of week and then assign to that whatever input the user gave us. But we'll go ahead and get this set up. What we have to keep in mind is that whenever we do this, what the user gives us is going to be in the form of a string. So if we start to write out just a little bit of it, we'd have something like keyboard.nextline. But what we need to make sure is that this string is actually of type day. So it needs to be converted from a string to a day object, essentially. In order to do that, we're going to use a particular method. So we're going to take the day class, and we're going to use the value of method. Okay, And so this value of method is actually a pretty handy thing that comes with uh, pretty much all classes in Java uh, that allows you to take whatever you pass in. Uh, if it is capable of being converted to the type that you're calling the method on, then it'll go ahead and perform that conversion. So it's a way to be able to convert something from one class type to another class type. Okay. So we'll go ahead and save this and take a look at it, see if there's anything else we need to do. So we'll go ahead and compile it, we'll run it. So we now need to enter a day of the week. So I want to try to specify any one of these days. So the typical convention, if I want to type in a particular day of the week, is to probably type in just you know a capital letter for the first letter and then the rest in lowercase. So pretty much this is how you would typically see it. So if I do this, we run into a little bit of an issue which is that it's going to tell me I have this illegal argument exception and say that there's no enum constant for uh, day.tuesday, or in this case, with the full scope enums demo.day.tuesday. And the reason for that is because of the way that I entered Tuesday, the uh, capitalization that I used doesn't match up with what I've got for the constant itself. So instead, what I want to go ahead and do is allow the user to input the day of the week in exactly the way that they would think that it's supposed to be entered and then we'll just go ahead and convert it to the appropriate thing for the, uh, for the code, for the enum itself. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and call the to uppercase method on the input that we're getting. Okay. So we'll go ahead and clear this. We'll compile this once more. And then we'll run it. And now if I put in something like Tuesday, now I can go ahead and do it and there's no problems. Okay. So now that we've got all that set up, the first thing that I want to take a look at for the uh, for our enum specifically is going to be the ordinal method. So I'm going to create an if statement here. I'm going to say if, and then I want to take my day of week variable, and I want to call a method on it, which is this ordinal method. Okay, and what this ordinal method is going to do is essentially check inside of the initial declaration of the enum. And it's going to look through this list of constants to identify the position in this list where this particular day of the week, whatever the constant is that we uh, assign to it, uh, where its position is. And just like when we deal with our arrays, our array lists, or pretty much anything else, uh, any other kind of collection in Java or really in programming in general, uh, it's always going to be zero based. So Sunday is going to start at position zero, Monday is at position one, Tuesday is at position two all the way up to Saturday, which is going to be at position six. Okay. So let's say for this particular one, I want to go ahead and just do a quick test 
to see if the position is equal to, uh, let's say the position of Friday, which is five. And if that's true, we're gonna do a little print statement right here. And we'll say, thank goodness, it's Friday. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try that and then run this and see what we can get out of it. So we'll come over here, we'll compile it, we'll run it. And so now if I enter a day of the week, say maybe I still enter just Tuesday, we'll see that nothing happens. We'll run this again. Now let's try it with Friday. And now because of the fact that Friday is at position five, this ends up being true, and we get this print statement here. Thank goodness it's Friday. Okay, so that's the ordinal method. The other thing that I want to take a look at with our enums is going to be being able to use enums with a switch. So if you are familiar with Java, you'll recall the switch whenever you talk about things like uh, conditional statements. So say like your if, else, if, else statements. In addition to those, you also have switches. And so what you can do is you can take the switch and you can pass in a particular variable. And then have your body. And then you can set up a series of different cases for values that you might get out of this, uh, this variable. And then be able to execute some code based on which one of those cases ends up being true. Okay. So uh, one of the things to keep in mind about switches is that there are specific types of data that you can use with them. Uh, it's exclusive to things like uh, ints and strings, uh, in addition to those, uh, and chars. Uh, in addition to those, uh, things of type enum can also be used with a switch. And the reason for that is because of the fact that all of these different values, the different objects of the enum, are constants. And it's only because of the fact that they're constants that you can get away with being able to use them with a switch. Okay. So we'll set this up, and then what we can go ahead and do is create each one of our cases but there's something kind of unique when we specify the type right here. So as you noticed before, when I initially set up this day of week, I had to do day dot and then the name of the constant. But in the case of a case, we don't actually need to include that day uh, uh, specification for the scope. So instead, we only need to put in the name. So if I put in just the name, say Sunday, for one of my cases, do a simple print statement right here for a moment and say uh, today is Sunday. We then have our break. Uh, we'll also include a default. Uh, for this default, what we could say is hmm, well, I don't think it will matter too much because of the fact that on line 13, we're going to get an error if it's not anything other than that. But just in case, uh, just for the sake of completeness with our switch, we'll go ahead and include something here. Uh, we'll just say not a valid day of the week. But I wouldn't really expect it to ever hit this line. Uh, so we just want to take a look at this a little bit for right now, uh, just to be able to see one of these cases. And then we'll fill out the rest of that. So we'll go ahead and run this. We'll specify Sunday as our day. We can say today is Sunday, getting printed out right here. Okay, to finish this out, I'm just going to include two different kinds of conditions, uh, essentially with a bunch of cases uh, sort of stacked together. So for the first one, we're gonna have Sunday and Saturday. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind is that again, it's gonna be in all caps because of the fact that they're constants. So we're gonna specify it like that, and we'll just say it's the weekend And then for the remainder of them, we're going to do cases for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And for these five, what we'll go ahead and say is just a simple print statement for it's a weekday. Okay, we'll have our break, and this will complete everything for our switch. So, fairly basic switch just to be able to introduce these two different conditions and use these uh, enum constants inside of it. So, 
So I'll go ahead and clear that, compile it, and go ahead and run it. So if we now specify something like Saturday, say it's the weekend, run it again, we specify something like Thursday, say it's a weekday, and then also if we specify Friday, we can get both, thank goodness it's Friday, but it's also still a weekday. Okay. All right, so this is going to cover everything for enumerated data types. Going into the last video for uh, everything regarding this particular uh, set of videos or this particular chapter from the course, we'll be taking a look at garbage collection.